Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the CASA TP-Link devices and uh, things you can use them for in Home Assistant as well as a little to known third-party integration where you can even use their cameras. Hope you, everybody enjoys. Thanks. Before I started using Z-Wave, I uh, prefer to use Wi-Fi devices just like everybody else when they get started in home automation or smart home stuff in general. Um, CASA is where I began and Honestly, my favorite energy devices are still the CASA HS110. Um, they're very hard to find nowadays, but I do have a few left over still lucky enough. But um, the HS110 is a really good energy monitoring device. It shows, you know, bolts and, and whatnot. Here, I'll go to one of them to show you. Uh, uh, the doghouse is one. They, uh, they work incredibly well, and I never really had any issues out of them, to be honest with you. But the other devices I want to talk about today are just the standard HS-103, which I have it disabled because I don't want Home Assistant accidentally turn itself off. Um, here's one which is disabled because it's not Christmas time, so I'm not doing very good here. But I don't really use those ones as much because most of that stuff is Z-Wave on my network, but... um. HS-103 looks like this. This is standard, um, that way you can use both plugs in your outlet. And these are the other ones that I use. Um, just a standard light switch. I use these for areas I'm not using the Z-Way switches, so these will be like bathrooms. That way when people come over, they're a lot easier to use. You know, people with Z-Way switches, sometimes they kind of, they kind of got to push hard or People that are used to regular toggle switches always struggle with Z-Wave ones at first. So these are in common areas like bathrooms and uh, guest bedroom and whatnot. This is a, a camera that I just think is neat. Um, don't really use it as much now, but um, we used to use it in our living room at our old house. But I have this next camera hung high enough now to where I can see, pretty much see everything. But it's pretty straightforward how to add them. It's literally, um, I would assign a static IP, but after you sign that static IP, you can just simply type it in here and it will pop up. It does the rest for you. Now, it doesn't do that with the cameras. And that's where we go to this next part. Under add-ons, you see that I have this thing called Costa Camera. And I'll put the link in the description, but it's pretty cool. Um, some guy wrote or reverse engineered the stream that uh, those cameras use and what ports they're on and whatnot and he explains it here but you just have to add that custom component and then you'll be able just to time right on um, you would do that by going to add-on store you see how it's showing up right here you go to repositories and there's his so this is the repository that you will use I'll make sure that's in the description below but the setup's pretty straightforward but um, yeah, I mean, so far I haven't had any issues using pretty much any CASA device. Um, you almost can't tell the difference between most of them, but, um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a smart device. I mean, they're, they're a Wi-Fi plug. I mean, you've seen one Wi-Fi plug, you've seen them all. I just like that they have a built-in thing with Home Assistant and it never has any issues. Um, but what you can do with these energy ones are... You can take it a step further, and if you really wanted to, you can add in sensors to where it calculates it, how much it's actually using, and then you can then times that by a few other sensors to actually see how much you're actually spending on it. You know, my server, for example, um, since I started using this, which is maybe a month ago, because it's, which I know is a lot of money, but it's a, it's a bigger server, but it allows you to do stuff like that. Um, I go over this much more in depth on a video where I talk about energy monitoring, but um, I'll do a quick little thing here, real quick. Uh, I pretty much have a sensor, which is my utility cost, roughly per kilowatt. I um, then here, this is where I times it by that kilowatt, then by that meter for that and now the meter is right here somewhere 
probably towards the bottom. Yeah. So then I tell it to every day and monitor this and record how much is being used, save it, and same thing month, annually and monthly. But um, that's how you get stuff like that. Now the more things you can do with it is um, see what's being left on or or whatever. But there's there's tons of things you can do. I don't really want to go into them too much here. I just wanted to show that Casa devices work really well in Home Assistant and. Uh, that's really about it, but I hope everybody has a good one. Thanks.